Good day everyone. Today we're going to discuss an introduction to economics exam on statistics. Percent of student who passed. This is percent of student who passed the exam. So take note on the graph. The left side is the number of percent of students who passed the exam. While below is the year are the years of the exams being taken. So if you can see there the numbers of percent of students who passed is ranges from 0 to 90 percent. Now take note it's only until 90 percent because it is, it is given that not all takers would pass the exam. So it is impossible for a hundred percent passing rate. Next. So what are the givens? So you can see here in 2005 we can have a 60 percent pass. Well 2006 we have 80 percent. 2007 we have 40 2008 we have 30 percent 2009 we have 50 percent 2010 zero percent passing and 2011 we have 60 percent passing rate now take note that the given here are the percent who passed so therefore we can also take note immediately of the what percent who failed the test example in 2005, we have 60% passing, so therefore we have 40% who failed. 2006, we have 80% passing, 20% failed. In 2007, we have 40% passing, 60% failed. In 2008, we have 20% passing, 80% failed. In 2009, we have 50% passing, 50% who failed. In 2010, we have 0% passing, meaning we have 100% of failing. Then in 2011, we have 60% passing and 40% failed. So those are the things that you can immediately see based on the graph. So okay, let's go to the first question. In which of the following years did over two-thirds of the students who took the exam not pass it? Again, in which of the following years did over two-thirds of the students who took the exam not pass it? Letter A, 2005. Letter B, 2006. Letter C, 2008. Letter D, 2009. Okay. Based on our problem, we can see here the word or the numbers two-thirds of the student. So we'll have two-thirds of the student, that would be 2 over 3. So this means that 100 is divided into 3 parts. So 100 divided by 3, that would be 33%. So one part of 100 is 33%. So when we say two-thirds, so that's two parts of 100. So 33 times 2, so that becomes 66%. Another one is the word not pass it. So when we say not pass it, it is the same as you failed. So we can reconstruct the given. So we can say in which of the following years did over 66% of the students who took the exam failed. Again, in which of the following years did over 66% of the students who took the exam failed. Now, we can see that our passing marks for 2005 is 60%, right? So we have our failing marks to have at 40%, right? So in 2006, we have our passing rate to have to be 80%. So the one who failed would be 20%. Now, on the next one, letter C would be 2008. So in 2008, the passing rate, the passing percent would be 20%, while the failing would be 80%. So if we go back to our question, which of the following years did over 66% failed? So, there we have our answer to be 2008 because in 2008 we have a 20% passing 
and an 80% filling. So we can see here in 2009 for letter D, we have a 50% passing and a 50% failing class. So a 50% failing, that's not more than 66%, right? So out of these choices, the answer would be 2008. Now, let's see if you have learned something. Aside from 2008, which of the following year has more than two-thirds of the students fail the test? Again, in which of the following years more than two-thirds of the students fail the test? I'll give you 10 seconds for you to answer. If your answer is 2010, then you are correct. If, if you can see in 2010, you have 0% passing, which means it's a 100% failing class. So all of the takers in that year failed. So if you have other questions, if you have other queries, just post it in your comments. Don't forget to stay tuned for more problems that we're going to solve. Thank you and goodbye.